This is a video application note to show you how to use the Orba 2 as an MPE MIDI controller with GeoShred. The Orba 2 can be used as an MPE controller with GeoShred Pro, GeoShred Play with the Pro upgrade, and GeoShred Control with the Pro upgrade. If you have a code from Artifone for the discounted bundle, GeoShred Control Plus Pro and the GeoTenor Sax, here is how you install. This QR code will take you to where in the App Store you can find GeoShred Control. Let's install. Launch GeoShred and go to Menu Store. In the store you'll find a Partner Specials button. Tap on the Partner Specials button and you'll be asked to enter your code. Enter the code and you'll be taken to a page with the discount offer. Tap on the button with the price and you will be directed to Apple's e-commerce flow. You will be asked to enter your Apple ID and password to confirm your purchase. Once the purchase is complete, GeoShred will be set to the GeoShred preset Orba 2 GeoTenor Sax Jam. Now let's see how to set up the Orba 2 to work with GeoShred. First launch the Orba 2 app. In this case it's running on a MacBook. Connect your Orbit 2 to the MacBook and power it up. In this case, it's connected via USB. Under the Play tab, there is a Settings tool in the upper right. Select it. Select MPE under MIDI mode. Next, select the Presets tab, where you will find icons for each of the four parts that the Orbit 2 supports. You'll want to select the triple dot on the right for the lead part. Scroll through the list of presets and you'll find one named GeoShred Diatonic Tilt. Select it. Press play and it will download the preset to your Orba 2. You can now disconnect your Orba 2 from the USB connection. Note that this preset is designed so that tilt is two semitones of pitch bend. Radial motion sends expression, and for the geotenor sax, it also sends growl. Pressing into the key sends CC74, which can be used for other expressive purposes. Next, connect your Orba 2 to your iOS device using Bluetooth. On your Orba 2, set the volume to zero since you will be using it as an MPE controller. Be sure to select Part 4, Lead. In GeoShred, go to Menu, MIDI and select the Bluetooth icon. Scroll down until you see your Orba 2 and select it. Note that there is a special MIDI configuration on the GeoShred side for the Orba 2. That's it, you should be ready to go. GeoShred comes with two presets especially for the Orba 2. However, because it's an MPE controller, you can use it to control any of the original GeoShred presets and any of the GeoSwan presets.